Hey guys and welcome to our tutorial. This is Gardens by the way. If you're not subscribed, please do because I've got a bunch of tutorials and I'm awesome. Easy as that. <laughs> anyway guys, um, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to work with reflections and refractions. And ref reflections and reflection refractions, geez I can't get that word right. Reflections and refractions can be achieved using the ray tracer. Let me just show you how that works. I've got this scene of banana, bananas, apples, and lemons. If I just go ahead and just render this, it will render quick, and it will be that. Okay. Now, Maya is about. Pardon me, guys. Maya is about realism. Okay, and this is not realism. This is just way too fake. You know, to to nineteen ninety one. This is not good. What we want to do is add realism to this. Now, we can add realism by using the ray tracer. Now, to turn on the ray tracer, what you have to do is just go to your, to your um, render settings and go to your Maya software renderer, scroll down to ray tracing quality. So, when you go to ray tracing quality, turn that on, you notice that, you notice three things, there's these three things here. Well, four things. There's these four things here. Now, reflection is uh, by default is uh, one, refraction six, shadows two, and uh, that's uh, out of the box. That's the default. So if we just go ahead and render that, you'll see some something better. But what we want to do is make it even better by turning uh, the quality to production quality. So turn it to production quality. The other thing you notice is uh, reflection, refraction, and shadows have been increased to ten by default. So out of the box, we'll be able to use uh, 10 as, to use these attributes. So just go ahead and render this. So remember, when I turned on the production quality, we ended up increasing the reflections and refractions as a default in the ray tracing. So that gives us more bounces of light as it runs through the scene in Maya, as you can see. Now, um, you can see that it's also reflecting on here. It's a bit more realistic than before. See, it's a bit, it's reflecting on here. It's a bit more re uh, realistic than before. So, in the rendered scene, notice that you've got um, all these stuff and they are caused by the, uh, by the surface material, which is this bit at the bottom, which is um, our table. Well, I would call it a table at the bottom. All right. Now, let me show you... Um, well, for example, if I go to the attributes editor of this surface, let me just close that. Close that, we don't need that. That surface. Go to the attributes editor. Come on. Go to the attributes editor. And that surface, I applied a blend material to it. So just go to your blend material. You'll notice that this is just a plain gray colored uh, blend material. But more importantly, you'll notice, let's go to the specular shading you notice the reflectivity. The reflectivity by default is set to 0 0.5 but it's set to 0 0.5 that's the reflectivity, the, the degree at which the surface will be reflecting um, a scene. So it's set by 0 0.5 by default. So let's bring it up to something as uh, ridiculous as um, uh, point, point 0.8 point 0.85 point 0.85 yes. 0.85 and uh, go ahead and render this scene. If you bring it up that much, you'll be able to see that, well, in here, there's a couple bananas, a lemon, a lemon, and an apple. It's a bit more, more, most reflection is a bit more clear and a bit more reflectionized, if that's a word. So that's uh, what we're going to achieve. However, if I decide to bring this one back to zero, and uh, render this, it will render a bit more quicker than before, but there will be no um, ref ref reflectivity whatsoever except for the base of this little bowl. This goblet at the bottom, you'll see some reflections, but that's about it. So usually I like to keep it around the middle, which is about, um, about, yeah, about 500. All right, I like to keep it in the middle so I have a nice um, reflection thing going on uh, in my scene. So let's go ahead and close that. Now notice um, when I do this, let me just render this one more time. 
Yeah. Now, at the base of this, uh, between the table and the base of this goblet, notice that um, the ball kind of anchors to the top of the table. There's no point of contact. Or there's no point of contact between the base of this of this uh, of this uh, goblet and the table. All right. There's no contact between those two. So also the glass is not that convincing. This glass is. Look at it. It's still not that convincing. It doesn't look like a real glass as compared to how the glass would what what the glass would look like in real life. So what I want to achieve is a bit more realism than we've already achieved. So. We can affect that by working with the um, refractions. So let me show you how that works. So um, just close that and just uh, select the goblet. All right, select the goblet and go to your attributes editor. In your attributes editor, go to the because it's a bleed material. That's the first thing that we will apply the bleed material. So make sure you've got your bleed tool selected. So go to ray trace options and select refractions. Uh, ray trace options, which is that and select refractions. So, um, select refractions, scroll down so I can explain these things. Okay, select refractions. Now, so when you select refractions, go ahead and uh, render the scene again. When you render the scene, you'll notice that, okay, the scene is a bit more convincing, but not as compared to um, before. Okay, it's just a tidbit you can't see it but technically it's supposed to be a bit more different but you can you really can't see it that's because I'll explain let me just close that all right now um keep that in mind I'm gonna explain the reason why it's not uh, as good as we want it to be anyway um select that va that um, goblet blend material you notice these there's a few attributes on here there's the reflective uh, refractive index which is set to one bear in mind is set to one okay then the, there's also the refraction limit the refraction limit is pretty much how many surfaces do you want the light to bounce through before it goes away and at the moment it's set to six and uh, at the moment, we've got how many refractive uh, surfaces? We've got one, two, uh, three, four. We've got four refractive surfaces. And at the moment, it's set to six. So six is definitely going to work. Because we've got more, less than six. We've got four. And so we've got something higher than six is the re re refraction limit. We've got the refraction limit of six. And um, that's pretty good. It's going to work. We only have four refractive uh, um, surfaces. Now, um, however, if you had a fluid that would probably, if you had a fluid in this, that would probably take it from the, we've got four, we've got one, two, three, four, we've got the um, fluid in here, so fluid will, will give it a two, so that will make you need the six as the refraction limit. That's just our common sense. Yeah, so that's how that works. You can also increase it if you want, okay? You can increase it to whatever you want to increase it to, okay? You can, maximum is 10, but you can increase it to whatever you want to increase it to. So we'll say with 6 for now. Now, um, we also have the uh, light absorbent, which is pretty, absorbance, which is pretty much the degree at which the light will be absorbed. You can increase that, you can play with that in your own time, but it's not important for this tutorial. And the other thing that you notice is uh, we've got uh, surface thickness, and also how much, how much does it, um, how much does it attenuate the shadows? The shadow attenuation on here, shadow attenuation. How much does it attenuate the shadows? So these are attributes that we've got on here. Now, so um, so just turn on the refraction like I just did. Turn on the refraction and uh, see what that happens. Again, we're going to render this. Okay, I already rendered it. I know that, and I'm going to render it again. So when we do that, you notice that well, there's uh, it's not different from before I turned on the refraction. That's because let me show you. Now uh, we've got the refraction index of one. That's because the refraction index is uh, is one, and one means nothing. Okay, we've got negative and positive, and one is right in the middle. One does nothing. What we want is for it for um, the refractive index to be more than one or less than one. It doesn't matter how less or how more, but what matters is how far less 
or how far more if that makes any sense guys so let me go ahead and just show you what that means right at the moment is one so let's just turn this up to 1.1 okay 1.1 and go ahead and render this scene when I turn it to 1.1 you will notice that uh, there's uh, a glassy effect. Let me just uh, let me just do that, do that, so that we can look at it from the more like side view and uh, render this. When you um, when you turn up to one point one, you notice that well, this glass is a bit, little bit more believable. You can see that this glass, I don't know about you guys, but this glass is a little bit more believable to me than anything else. So look at it. We've got that uh, glassy look around it. So that's 1.1. Now, if we decide to go a bit less, because, yeah, if we decide to go a bit less, let's say we try to decide to go uh, to something as less as uh, 0.800. Um, go ahead and render this you will notice that the glass will look a little bit more different. It will have a thicker bottom. Well, that's the look it's going to give you, like it's got a thicker bottom. And uh, that's way too exaggerated. So we don't want that. We want to bring it a little bit more, a little bit closer to one. So let's go ahead and just uh, bring this up to uh, 0 0.96. 0 0.96, and just go ahead and render it. Now, that's a bit more realistic. See? That's a bit more realistic. Even even 9.7. Um, that's a bit more realistic, but let's bring it to 9.7. Now, that's good. That's good, guys. We've got now uh, 0.97. So, that's a bit more, that's way a bit more realistic, but we still not seeing more, we still not seeing as much as we would like to see in here. We're still not seeing as much as we would like to see. So let's just go ahead and close that. Let's just go ahead and close that. And um, um, now that we have a little bit more understanding about refraction, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead, let's go into the uh, render, render settings and see exactly how this works. So, um, go into your render settings just click on that your render settings will come up and go back down to ray trace quality which is about uh, ray tracing quality which is about there this one that we've got in here now in ray trace quality you've got you notice our uh, four parameters but what we're interested in is refle reflections refraction and shadows all right we've got these three so that's what we're going to concentrate we will bias will be left alone for now so um uh, now these these numbers that we've got 10 10 10 represent the times that light will bounce off will bounce off for each of the type of these parameters for each of this type this these numbers represent the number of times that life is gonna bounce off off them if that makes any sense but it may it does to me so we are clear on reflections and refractions so let's go ahead and do something that will make this um, this goblet a little bit more realistic even more realistic okay we're gonna add what we um, know as shadows to this um, goblet so to do that I need to select um, to select a light all right so just close that and to select the light I can do it I can just zoom out zoom in play around until I find a light and select the light and go to the attributes editor but we don't need to go through all that hassle I'll just go to windows outliner the outline will come up you notice that I've got these uh, how many two lights we've got the spotlight one and spotlight two let's just go ahead and uh, click on the spotlight two when I click on the spotlight two you will notice that I've got that that in the attributes editor it will come up so um we've got this spotlight two and uh, We've got uh, a few other options, and what we wanna do is um, wanna work with shadows. Now, when I click on shadows and scroll down, you notice that I've got 
depth i've got uh, depth map shadows as well as uh, ray trace shadows and ray trace shadows uh, will just be at the bottom of this and ray trace shadows will just be right about there so um let me scroll up again and use the uh, depth map shadows in this scene let me close the outline i don't need it anymore so um let me just uh put this nice and pretty front view and uh zoom in a little bit and go ahead and render this scene. So when I render this scene, you'll notice that the shadow is not as realistic as we would want it to be. The shadow is way too thick. Uh, guys, I am sorry, the shadow is right behind the goblet. So if I, um, if I move it a little bit like that, we should be able to see it. Um, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Bang, that's the, there it is. So we've got the shadow, but the shadow looks like just a shadow that you would achieve from something solid, all right? There's no, there's no realism to this shadow, and I don't like it. Maya is about realistic, and this is not realistic to me. Um, it looks way too too solid, all right? It's way too solid. Look at it. It's got no... no you, um, this uh, goblet has space in the middle, and this is not right, all right? So I'm not happy with that. I'm just going to close that. And deselect that because I'm not happy with it. So what I'm going to do is uh, scroll down to Ray Trace Shadows. Just click on Ray Trace Shadows and go ahead and uh, render this scene again. When you render the scene, you'll notice that the, the scene is a bit more re well, it's as realistic as we can get it. And uh, as realistic as we can get it is right about that. All right. You, you can see that what okay, the thick surfaces, the stem in the middle is thick. All right. The stem in the middle will be thick on the sides. You know, the, the size will be thick. So, if you look at it, if you're looking at the glass from here, you will notice that okay, there's um, more distance to go in through that surface and that. All right, as compared to as as compared to the glass, the amount of glass you'd go through this, to, you'd go through the front to the middle. So that's a bit more realistic, and I'm happy with that. And that's our tutorial. There it is. It's a bit more convincing. That's that's our tutorial. Thank you very much guys, that's our tutorial for, for the day, and I'll upload another tutorial in a bit. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, and I will upload this on my blog. For those guys who know my blog, if you don't know what my, what my blog is, I'll leave, I'll leave the link below. So, that's our tutorial guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and thank you very much. By the way, there's uh, on my blog... There's a, it's monetized, so you might as well support me by supporting my, 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 um, uh, sponsors. Just click on the ads, guys, alright? Let me, let, let me earn some, uh, some money. That's how we do it. Anyway, guys, um, I'll see you in the next tutorial, and thank you very much. Bye.